Lisa back on top of the podium in a sprint at the beginning of the season. It feels like a flashback, but maybe not. <laughs> um, yeah, somehow it is a flashback. I had the same beep number like last year. I had also zero zero. Um, an old coach told me it's her um, lucky number, so I had it again today. Um, so it was a good night, but I was for sure nervous before the race. Um, but it's different. Um, I had different goals. I, after a, a difficult summer, I said to myself, I have to do race by race. And uh, now I'm here with a victory. <laughs> it's um, really it's unbelievable. I'm really emotional, emotional and happy about it. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, you had to skip the Summer Biathlon World Championships uh, for health reasons. Uh, and you told me that you really were taking it little by little. What did you focus on uh, ahead of the season because of this? Um, okay, the, the main focus was in for February, the World Championships, because I said to myself, okay, you did not so much training, you did not so much endurance, you have to um, see race by race, how it's working, how it's going. So um, now it's really surprising for me that I'm here in, at the first World Cup in Kontiodachti and I have such a good result, um, such a good beginning. Individual was a little bit hard for me, a tough day. But I knew on the range that I can have a lot of self-confidence um, because I was just angry about the mistakes. They didn't, um, I didn't feel uncomfortable because of that. So, yeah, I did the zero, 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 and yeah, I'm really happy about it. You should be. And then on top of it, there was a very fast last loop. Uh, what did you think about when you did, okay, zero, zero, maybe I can fight for the podium? Um, I thought I can fight for the podium, but I knew there were a really strong girls behind me, also the Uberg sisters. Or, um, so I knew um, I had to give everything what I have. <laughs> so um, I was really confident with my race when I wasn't finished and told myself, OK, doesn't matter what the other girls are doing. Um, I'm satisfied with my race. So, uh, yeah, it's just amazing that I'm the lucky one today. <laughs> Going into tomorrow, uh, what will you try to do? <laughs> I have to, to try to be calm, um, not so nervous. Um, I did a, such a great um, job uh, last year when I was in the same position, so I think I can do it. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward. Absolutely. Best of luck. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thanks. Lisa, congratulations. Uh, it didn't quite start well. The first uh, shot was a miss then. It just uh, went perfect from then on. Yes, uh, one mistake uh, happened, but uh, I try to keep the the, the focus and uh, yeah, it it it, uh, it went well, so I'm re I satisfied. Can you tell us about this uh, first miss? Uh, did you feel where it went, or did you have the chance to look back at it? Uh, I didn't. I don't know where. Where, where the the miss, but uh, yeah, happened, and uh, I tried to to push uh, until the end. So it was uh, really amazing today. Where did you find the energy in the last loop? Because uh, you were faster than, for example, Hermann in the very last loop. Yeah, I felt uh, very very good on the track and. Uh, I gave my 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 best uh, in the last um, in the last loop, and uh, I want to to go on the podium again. And uh, yeah, it it's well, it was enough. What's so special with you and Contiolati? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's a love story, <laughs> and uh, I really like this place. And uh, I had a lot of uh, medal there, so. It's, I, I, I hope for um, another, <laughs> another medal. Tomorrow you will start uh, just uh, 17 seconds behind uh, the other Lisa. Uh, what will you try to do? Keep your pace or try to catch her? Uh, I don't know yet, but uh, I, I try to shoot uh, as uh, well as I can. So, uh, and we will see. I'm ready. <laughs> Congratulations, best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Lynn, congratulations. Back on the podium, individually. How does it feel? 
I feel so great. I'm super happy and uh, I'm so proud of myself, uh, what I did out there today. Absolutely. What are you mostly proud of? The standing shooting was so hard. I um, took some extra seconds there <laughs> and um, it was a, I had to fight for them, but I'm super happy that I could finally get five hits and yeah, didn't need to go to the penalty loop. <laughs> Makes everything so much easier. <laughs> I guess even if it's flat, it's better not to go there. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> now, last time you were on the podium was a must start. You've always been very competitive in competitions with four shootings. How special is it to do it in a sprint? Uh, of course, it's, it's something extra. Um, it's um, maybe not, it's more, how to say it? Maybe it's easier to do it in four shooting because it's, then you have four. Uh, this, big risk that those are really good skiers, maybe miss something, and then if you are not that good skier, you can maybe hit and have a better chance to hit the podium. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, so, yeah, I'm very happy that I can do it also in this point. Well, you said about the skiing is actually where you got this uh, third place, because at the top of the climb, of the wall, it was very close. I mean, it was very close at the end, but it's in the very last split time that you gained the podium. Yeah, Johannes were cl quite clear about that it was important from the top till the finish line. <laughs> so, yeah, <clears throat> I guess I didn't have much of a choice <laughs> there. <laughs> what did he tell you? No, he talked about it before the race that it was uh, important to have some extra um, speed over the top um, over the, to, um, yeah, to do a good finish. Uh, and uh, I really tried to have it with me today during the race uh, but also I got a lot of you know um, times during the last loop Alex was like three seconds behind it's two seconds behind now it's three again now it's two maybe one <laughs> so uh, it was close how important are those actually split time because uh, we often hear the coaches screaming can you hear them I can hear them absolutely it was hard to miss today <laughs> Yeah, but now, but you, of course, you get some, uh, s s yeah, a feeling of that. Maybe you have a feeling how fast you are, but then you get the time also, like, so you know, okay, is this good enough? Is Am I fast now? Is it too too hard? Maybe I have to speed up a little. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good to have the information. Now, tomorrow, already a pursuit. Um, any idea of what you're going to try to do out there? <sighs> Not right now, at all, actually. <laughs> I haven't been, no, I haven't think about it yet. I guess I will do it later. <laughs> now it's time to enjoy this. Yes. Congratulations. Thanks. Emma, congratulations. A career best, fourth place. So close, but I guess you're super proud of yourself today. Yeah, for me, it was a perfect race to hit 10. Um, I felt really strong skiing, and our wax guys did an awesome job. So I did everything I could out there. Bib number seven, so the whole race was still uh, unwrapping when you were at the finish. How did you watch it? Honestly, I had to just go and cool down and not look at my phone. And then when I came back and I saw I was fourth, I was still super happy. Can you rate your performance? Obviously, especially the last shoot, the last loop, it seemed like you really gave everything out there. Yeah, um, I would say I felt I, I think I paced it well and I still had a lot of energy on the last lap and our coaches and our wax men were cheering so loud that I had all the energy to take with me around the loop. How does it feel when you see the wall in front of you and you know you're fighting for a good result? I think my head was probably down because I didn't want to see how much was left. <laughs> Congratulations. Best of luck for the pursuit tomorrow. Thank you.